Bash, bash. So you gonna hit it? Oh, one got it, one got it. Oh, oh I watched him come up need it. Oh, there's something right there. These crawls will literally catch you everything. What's up everybody, Derek here. And today we are down on the creek as you see behind me. Look at that beautiful water right there. There's up the creek, we'll be fishing some of that, but we're fishing with that. This is a little bitty crawl. I believe it's a VMC crawl that I had gotten in the past from Bass Pro Shops. And crawls, in my experience, if you're trying to catch more bass than just pan fish in general, these things on the right days, which hopefully that's today, we can catch a bunch of fish and hopefully at a little deep pools down in Texas, there ain't no telling what size the bass could be. It could be a five, six pounder, who knows? But let's go find out and see if we can catch that one. <laughs> All right, we made it down here to the edge and it looks awesome right over here. It's just gonna be hard to get anything over there. It's a deep little hole, God, is it deep. So, let's see if we can get it over in here somewhere and just kind of slow roll it to start off. Not going to bottom bounce it, not going to do any of that stuff. Just slow roll it like a little crawl swimming down there. Now what I need to do is figure out if I can get it over here. Because I know there's got to be some fish in there. Ugh. I just don't want to fall off this cliff into that water because... That's deep. Oh, bass, bass. So you gonna hit it? Oh, one got it, one got it. They're over here in this corner. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't want to lose him. That's a fat chunk down in there. Let me see if I can work through this tree. Pull him up. Oh, got him. Got him. Right in the top of the mouth. That's what I'm talking about right there. I was just jigging it, popping it up and down. He nailed it. Not a ma massive one, but I know there's got to be some good ones in there. Pretty cool. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's do that again. <laughs> I'm just kind of afraid that I'm gonna end up breaking this thing off. I've got more crawls. This was the last one I come. They come in like a two pack, these VMC crawls. But if I need to rig one up, I've got some other ones that are some cheaper crawls. But the idea is to use a crawl to catch some fish. And we just caught a bass. So, yeah, they catch them. And I'm just slow rolling it. They are right over here on this drop, though. I'm just going to sit here and jig it for a second. Let's see what happens. They definitely down in there. Oh, got one. It's a panfish, though. Vertically jigging a crawl. That is awesome. See? Pan, bass panfish. Nice. These crawls will literally catch you everything. That is so cool. Thanks, buddy. There's a fish. Si oh, Mr. Bass came. Is that a quad? Looks like a quad to me. Uh, dang. Yep, Guadalupe bass right there. So, perfect size for a fish that size. Thanks, buddy. Got one. Whatever that is. I think he just grabbed it and held on. Red breast. Good one too. Nice buddy. Pretty guy. Thanks bud. He was down there in that channel. 
I've been letting it drop more and I was still getting bites, but I was letting it drop more and then reeling. So I think I just started reeling slow right there. They might want it a little bit faster maybe. All right, right in the bend of this creek. Throw it right out in the middle. Oh, as soon as it hit the water, we had one. I don't know how big this one is. Decent little guy. He hit it on the fall. This dude wanted to eat. Nice. Thank you, bud. All right. Here's our new setup. This is a Walmart setup. So, new crawl in a 132nd ounce dart jig head. So, you can get all this from Walmart. So, it's pretty cheap to come catch fish like this like we are today. And so, we're just going to continue on since we lost that VNC lure. And see how this one does. Oh, 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 I watched him come up need it. That was cool. He was just sitting there on the bottom. And then, bam! Nailed it right above his head. It was like vertical fishing. Cool. Thanks, buddy. I hope you like this drop. Oh, belly flop. All right, let's do it again. This little pool has a ton of fish in it. And the cool part about being on this side is we can really see what's down in there. See if they'll come and hit it. Nope, not that time. Sometimes you only get one or two chances at a fish. And it's like they just gave up or something. It's weird. I do not want to fall down in there and go swimming. That is quite the drop. There we go. There a little ways. Just let it drop all the way to the bottom. Shoot, it is deep. Oh, there's something right there. What we got? Bass? Oh yeah. Nice. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's way down there. He's trying to get up under that limb. Nope, 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 nope. Don't loop around. There, got him out. That's a pretty fish. Don't don't break. Oh, oh, definitely testing this line. Nice. Oh, I'm all up in the branches of my reel, right in the top of the mouth. All I did was let it drop that time all the way to the bottom, and that little dude nailed it. And that's a regular largey right there, just a pretty one with all those black down the side. Grow to be a big one, buddy. I'll be back for you. Thanks, bud. Well, our little buddy, the crawl right there, definitely came through. This thing will catch you so many fish. On days like this, this is basically like a slow flowing pond for the most part because it goes way up there and it is deep. I mean, look at that green water. You can definitely not see. In other parts, you can see about three foot deep. So yeah, that's deep. And there's a ton of fish in here, but for these crawls, they will catch bass and panfish and just about everything that can make a fun trip out of a creek like this. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.